Cornucopia Radio presents But now it's time once again, Justice fans, for the adventures of Commander Awesome and his faithful sidekick, Liberty Lad. We join our intrepid heroes in their secret hideout, the Fortress of Justice, as Commander Awesome mans the crimeometer, seeking out signs of wrongdoings, ever watchful, ever vigilant, ever... Board, 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 board. <laughs> right, I finished cleaning the awesome mobile and mopping the floors in the kitchen of integrity. Oh, very good, amazing lad. Can you make a start on the toilet of temperance? Look, this isn't exactly my job description. And besides, it's not like you're busy just sat there. Can't you do it? I am busy. I'm monitoring the crime monitor. Looking for signs of superpowered crime and injustice. Anything happening then? No. But in these dark times, we must remain ever watchful and alert. In a constant state of cat-like readiness. Ready to act without a moment's haste whenever evildoers raise their heads. And besides, you are my sidekick. It's your job to aid your superhero at all times. Yes, but that's more in line with helping you find your silver crossbow of Galmera, or warning of your impending ninja attack, not scrubbing out the toilet and general household maintenance. And besides, I thought we had a guy for all this stuff. You mean Alec, our intrepid butler? Uh, yes. Yes, I had to let him go. It seems that in the current socio-economic climate, I can't really afford to keep him in our employ. Unfortunate, really. Been with the family for years. Very sad. So in the meantime, we'll have to make do. Well, couldn't we find some petty crimes to fight to pass the time? There seems to be plenty of them around these days. Mm, no. I don't think so. Our abilities are best reserved for villains with magic swords and killer robots, that kind of thing. And one of those could strike at any minute. So my place is here, by the crime monitor. Oh, fine. I'll go get the bleach. The toilet will have to wait, chum! Looks like someone needs our assistance. It looks like our nemesis, Dr. Mortenstein, is robbing the bank on the high street. There's not a moment to waste! Go, go, awesome mobile! Uh... No, we're not taking the awesome mobile. Have you seen the fuel prices these days? But I just finished cleaning it. Well, we don't want it getting dirty again, do we? Water rationing. Well, what about the awesome bike? Need servicing. Go, go, awesome boat! Hold up in dry dock and currently on eBay. Awesome copter? Alec took that as part of his severance pay. Well, how are we going to get to the crime zone then? Go, go, awesome mass public transit system! Shut up! Meanwhile, in the high street, a dastardly bank robbery is underway by none other than the evil fiend, Dr. Mortenstein. <laughs> Behold, it is I, Dr. Mortenstein, and this is a robbery. Don't move, or I shall be forced to disintegrate you where you stand. Dad. <laughs> now, hand over the money, or else. We haven't got any. <laughs> Wait, what? This is a bank, sir. We haven't got any money. Oh. Really? Yep. Sorry. Right. Well, what do you have then? We've got a couple of bags of coppers. Some leaflets of ISAs and, and mortgage repayments. All right then, hand them over. And your name badge and that clock on the wall over there and those pens with the unchewed lips. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, none can match the evil genius of Dr. Mortenstein. Not so fast, Dr. Mortenstein. Yeah, your days of injustice and threatening the public are over. 
Oh, he's not bothering us, really. No more than any other customer. Silence! You won't stop me this time, Commander Olsen and Liberty Lad. Not when you're faced with the combined might of me and my newest assistant. Come forth, Matched Mark! <laughs> Matched Mark? Hold on, what happened to the other fellow you had? The, the one with the huge spiky robotic arm. Uh, really gravelly voice. Uh, Mechanical, that's it. Yeah, well, he was a brilliant assistant, but I had to terminate his contract. I'm in a short of cash these days, what with the economy, how it is and everything. Well, hence his robbery, really. Oh, tell me about it. I had to let my butler go the other day. I've been in our employ for years. Oh, that's a shame. Anyway, so what I did was fire Mechanical, gave him his redundancy, hired another evil sidekick on a lower pay grade. Saves me a packet in the long run. Really? Hmm, maybe I should consider doing the same. Hey! Uh, I mean, enough of this! Let us do battle, evildoer. Fine! Face the evil power of my disintegrating death beam! <laughs> Whoa! Take cover, amazing lad! <laughs> run, Peril, run, and face your Ah. What? Damn blasted cheapos marketing batteries! Work, damn you! Honestly, you're trying to make a saving. Maybe if I rub off. You should have bought the name brand, Doctor. Quick, while he's disarmed! Not so fast, super losers. Oh no, it's Matchhead Mark! Right then, let's do this. What are your superpowers, evil fiend? <laughs> None can withstand the fury of Matchhead Mark. I possess the superhuman ability to set my head on fire! What? I can explode my head into a fiery inferno of death. Really? Yes! <laughs> Do you tremble before my power? Not really, no. Normal people can set their heads on fire and it's not really that super. In fact, it's quite fatal. Fatal to you, perhaps. Really? Doctor, is this the best you could do? Oh, it's not the worst I could have hired, believe me. Just give him a chance. Ah, I found another battery in the clock from the wall. Just hang on, hang on. I shall destroy you momentarily. Get them, Matched Mark! All right, then. Defensive positions, Liberty Lad. Do your worst. Very well. What is that? Uh, it, it's my striking surface, you know, like on a matchbox. It, that's how my powers work. I, I can't self-ignite, so I have to rub my head very rapidly against this. A bit awkward, though. Don't worry. Soon my head will be a torrent of flame, and then you'll be sorry. If I can just... Damn it. Light, damn you. Okay, you know what? Just stop. Commander, this is ridiculous. I'm afraid I have to agree with you, chum. This will hardly go down in the grand chronicles of our battles against the forces of injustice. Oh, I hate to agree with you, Commander. I'd be lying if I said my heart was in this. I mean, look at me. I'm Dr. Mortenstein. Evil genius. Not much of a genius to be robbing a bank. <laughs> Quiet, Liberty Lad. Don't interrupt him while he's monologuing. Oh, master of robotics, destroyer of stuff. And now look at me. My robotic horde has had to be shut down. I've got the Baileys knocking on the door of my secret volcano lair. I've had to start selling my decent doomsday devices on eBay. And worst of all, him. Excuse me, uh, could, you, uh, could you help by holding this? What now? Could you just hold this a while while I rub my head against it? What? I'm not going to help you set your head on fire. Oh, oh, okay then. Well, I guess I could put it down on the floor and kind of do a handstand. Don't worry, I'll be killing you in minutes. Uh, yeah, sure, that's great. So much for the superior industry being recession-proof. True, Liberty Lad. It's certainly an eye-opener. Indeed. So, what do we do now? You know, I might just go brood a little, plot stuff. You know, the usual. Yeah, I think we'll be off too. Calling the shops on the way back to the fortress. 
Oh, uh, speaking of plotting, uh, you got any other crimes planned soon? Oh, well, maybe I've got an attack against the city power grid coming up. What days you free next week? Oh, I'm free most days. Don't worry about that. Definitely. Ah, oh, great stuff. Well, we'll see if we can't arrange something for next week, then. <laughs> Behold the awesome power of Match Head Mark! Bloody hell! Now, prepare to die as I turn you into a raging, burning inferno of pain. Burning! 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 Ah, I'm burning! My head is on fire! Oh, 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 oh my god! Put it out! I'm not quite sure which, uh, which fire extinguisher is this Ah! Oh god! Ah! Ah! Quick thinking there, Liberty Lad. You've uh, saved him. Uh, beware my power. Thanks. I, I think we should be off now. Yeah, I think I better be off too. But what about Mark there? No, oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. See you later, super losers. Okay. Remember next week. Wait. So, what just happened? Did we save the day, or what? I think we can rest knowing that something was foiled. Even if it was Matchhead Mark's head. <laughs> you know, like a jacket potato. In the oven. He's all burnt, and... Uh, let's... Let's go, shall we? So, doesn't anyone want to open an ISA today? Anyone? Better clean up this mess. Oh, bloody superheroes. Tune in next time, Justice fans, for more super-powered adventures of Commander Awesome and Liberty Lab. The Cornucopia Radio Show Podcast. Proving there's more to the internet than just pornography, skateboarding dogs, and Nigerian businessmen.